On today's video we are going to learn how to paint the Maximus 6 formula rogue armor. Yeah! Let's paint our motherboard. Of course we have to remove the RAM first. We can leave the chipset in there. After disconnecting everything, make sure everything is ready to go. Let's turn the motherboard upside down, but first we have to remove the grommets that go for the cross chill. Time to put the motherboard upside down. Right here we can appreciate that we got 9 screws. These are the ones that we need to carefully remove. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's get the plate out of the way. This plate doesn't really need to be painted because it's always hidden. In this case mine is already painted but yours is going to look black but still I'm going to show you how to paint it. Okay, using the proper tools, we want to cover the logo or the LED logo. I fast forward this session as well and I remove my gloves due to the fact that the gloves stick to the freaking tape. I hate that. Carefully take your time and cut every single piece. Make sure that front LED plate is covered. You have to have a lot of patience to do this. I do have a little bit of experience painting and detailing. And that's the reason why I love to paint my parts of my computers. After you have it ready to go, you can pretty much cover anything, but in my case that was the only thing I covered. Everything else I painted. Alright, it's time for painting. Now the painting I recommend this one here, this one sticks really well, it is really nice, but you can go to the, to the store and select yours. Alright, well, once you're done painting. Like I did, like I said, I'm not going to do the painting here because I already did, but you have to find a good place to paint. Alright, after your motherboard is dry, it's time to remove the tape. Make sure you leave at least one or two days for your motherboard to dry, even if on the bottle it says fast dry in 15 minutes. I didn't really paint the back because it's really pointless. But make sure that you leave at least one or two days to dry. Like I said, I also painted the C87 chipset of this mother. I removed it and I put it back together and I painted it. It looks really sexy to my eyes. Alright, it's time to place the, um, the rock plate one more time. And after we already did it, put the motherboard upside down. Align it really well. Make sure everything is connecting right and the fun part starts. If you follow these steps, you're going to do it successfully. If you have any questions, please comment down below and if you think this motherboard looks really sexy, comment down below as well. On another build that I will do, I'm gonna get the Maximus B7 formula, or actually 7 formula. 
and I'm going to paint the, paint the motherboard as well. After we put in the RAM, well, pretty much we are done. Let's put back the grommets. And carefully, we are done. Let's do it right the first time. Look at the sexiness of this motherboard. All white. Well, almost. That is the reason why I selected this motherboard because I knew that I was going to take that plate, the rug, and I was going to paint it. <laughs> I love matting PCs. Hit the like if you like this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. My next videos are going to be how to paint your fan. But a lot of people requested this video, so here you go. Thank you for watching, and I love you. Guys, after editing this video, uh, I want to say that I am right here on my workstation right now. I got the 760T. Um, I am uh, modding it. As you can see right here, I got one fan that I already painted it. I think it's dry. Yeah, it is dry. It's a 140, 140 millimeter fan. This came, this is the original fan from that come uh, with the 760T. I also purchased a 200 millimeter fan. I'm testing it right now. I mounted it myself. Um, this right here says no white 2.0. Um, that right there, th I'm going to remove the H55, you know, and I got a uh, um, H100i coming in that is going to be mounted up there. Right now, I have nothing but one thing that is not working. Ah, uh, yeah, check this out. I'm soon to do a full review of the Snow White 2.0, install it into this case. Um, check it out. Alright guys, well I wanted to also uh, share with you what I have been doing. I've been really busy. Um, I already shipped the previous computer that I had for sale. Already sold it. Right now it's on the way to California. Uh, it was very expensive to ship over there. But anyways, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, I got this fan right here, 200 millimeter. I got uh, two 140s back here, in here. I love this case because it's airflow optimized and also I'm going to be hanging well that's the H440 this fan this fan right here this other Corsair fan it's going to be mounted oh hold on Give me one second one second uh, let me turn off this fan. Never do what I did. But this fan is going to be right up here. Like this. I already got the mounting holes and everything. And this case is going to be really, really badass air optimized. So that's what I am doing right now. Uh, this right here is Snow White 2.0. And I also got another uh, computer on the mail that I'm going to be building for a awesome lucky customer that's right i'll see you guys in the next one hit the like down below